Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Wow. You know, as I was sitting here and listening to everyone talk, um, all the dignitaries and watching all of you, I had a strange sense of peace come over me. I'll tell you why. My father was my school principal. My mother was the headmistress of the school where I studied. And I had a very tough time of it because if I did well, then it was like, ha, principal ki beti hai, to kar hai. And if I did badly, it was like, principal ki beti hai, aise kar hai. So there was no winning for me. However, that's not the point I was trying to make. What I'm actually wanting to say is that being a child of educationists, I have seen my father and my mother come home with chalk dust and big registers back home to correct them. And we always spoke about one thing. We always discussed it. That why is it such an important thing as education is given such low priority in a country? Why are universities and schools and colleges not places of worship. But when I sat here today, I got a feeling like this was a temple. That's really my feeling. I really, really, really got this enormous sense of joy that the future is truly secure. It is truly secure with institutions such as the wonderful, vibrant Paro University. 4,448 graduates is no mean feat. Congratulations to each one of you and to your wonderful teachers who through the pandemic, through their laptops and through working, not working internet, through each of you sitting and trying to work this new way of studying, managed to get your degrees and managed to get yourselves in education and hats off to that. Really hats off to that. Dr. Patel, Mrs. Patel, amazing work here at Parul University. To see such wonderful, bright, energetic and truly vibrant faces here makes me understand one thing very simply. That tomorrow if I have to get physiotherapy done or I need some Ayurvedic treatment or I have a management issue, at least I'm taken care of. That's for sure. Is that right? But jokes apart, I seriously feel that each of you is so full of promise, so full of hope, so full of energy. It is your time. It is truly, truly your moment. The world is your oyster and you will go and seize it and do many wonderful things in the world. There's a couple of things that I think need changing in the world. And while we are handing the baton to you, I'd like to request humbly that there are a couple of areas that need desperate changing in our world. And if I have the permission of Mr. President and his wonderful wife and all the dignitaries behind me and on the stage, then I'd like to raise a couple of points that I think desperately need changing in our country and in the world at this time. First and foremost, I think we don't have enough on conflict management. We don't have an idea about how to deal with varying opinions. We have not learned how to do that. If there can be an introduction of some sort, some sort of thought process behind that, how to manage conflict, how to resolve conflict, how to live with differences, that would be an area that I would really, really encourage some of you, one of you, to work in. The second area that I think that needs looking into is of course a very commonly talked about area and I think the pandemic has shown that to us is the constant and relentless abuse of nature. I have grown up picking up fruits and vegetables and eating them straight from my garden to my table and I know the joy of that. But what we've seen in the pandemic is nature taking its own back. And as my friend Milan pointed out, we've been more healthful, more conscious of our health at this time. 
and if we can look after the health of our planet and be mindful of that and if some of you many of you can work in that area that would be wonderful too and the third thing which is a very personal sort of request to all of you is to look into it because the world is yours now is to work in the area of gender equality i work in the indian film industry and the indian film industry tends to be very very uh, male dominated there is no pay parity um, for the same amount of uh, work men get paid much more women get paid much less there is much less respect women have to work far harder to reach the same spot all the men and women young men and women who are graduating today i'd like to request you to be more empathetic to both genders men have their own struggles and women have their own but to give each other dignity and respect and help to create a world where each one is valued is something that i would deeply appreciate if you took it up as something to give your female counterparts a chance to shine as well as your male counterparts that would be a wonderful wonderful thing i tried to do my own little bit in 2016 i wrote and produced and acted in a short film called chutney in a business that is dominated by youth and beauty i played a character that was neither young nor beautiful and that became the most watched short film in the world we won two film fair awards for it we won the hbo audience choice award for it but it took a great deal of soul searching to do that and as you're stepping out into the world i'd like to say that please find that thing that gives you joy find that one story that you can make your story because ultimately i have found that i love storytelling and for me that is my passion however i like to tell stories but each of us is a story Dr Patel gets up in the morning and tells himself a story I am Dr Patel I am the president of Paro University but if he were to get amnesia and not remember who he was then he would not have that story to tell but remember that you are the hero or the heroine of your own story each and every day and the story can keep on changing and evolving as you go along but with your story remember to make sure that the story of the world becomes a far better story for you having been in it thank you so much for having me here today i am honored and deeply touched and i wish each one of you the greatest of successes thank you so much